Oh, uh, hey. Um, we're going to be going over some jQuery animations here. So, this is a little demo page I set up. So, you click the button, it opens and shows something. I also threw in a uh, jQuery easing library that I'll show. And also, this text changes once you click it. Uh, it's really simple. If you don't know jQuery, it's a good start. Let's go over on how we did that. And of course, I put a hot shake in it because it's better than just a boring box. Alright. So, in here, let's uh, make an anchor, something we can click on. So, we'll just give that a link to nothing. And we'll say hide girl because we're going to put girl inside of a div we'll give this div id a let's call it box pretty generic and inside of here we'll say images I already have some images in a folder so See what that says. Okay. So I already have some pre CSS uh, styling I did, which isn't relevant. You can do your own styling. So I have a box with an image inside of it, and I have a clickable link here that does nothing when you click on it. All right. So let's go down in jQuery and target these. Let's target our anchor here. Uh, well, there's two different ways to do that. So why would we click uh, target our anchor? We want to, whenever you click on it, it hides this box. So if you click it again, it shows it. So let's target that. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can target it. Um. It's an, a, it's an anchor, so I could just say A because it's the only anchor I have on this generic page. And that would work. Or if you want to be more specific, you could say content. Uh, content A, which an anchor that is inside of content. Or you could actually give this an ID of something and then you can just do it that way but I think I'm just gonna go with the constant A and we'll target that we'll do a uh, a bind which is <clears throat> there's a couple different ways of doing a click but this is my favorite way you can actually just say uh, dot click after it if you wanted to but I like the bind way a little better. It has a few more options to it. There's pretty much a lot of different ways of doing the same thing in jQuery. And if you want to learn those different ways, all you have to do is go to jQuery.com and they have a bunch of documentation on how everything works. But uh, here's a function, and your function you have your parentheses and your curly braces. So let's go inside of those curly braces and open it up. Uh, you're going to want to close that. So now inside of here, whenever you click this button, uh, let's make sure we target it right. We'll just do an alert. So when you click this, I get an alert of that. Okay, cool, it's working. So when you do this, let's animate the box, right? So click this button, it animates the box. So now we just need to target the box, right? Easy enough. So let's target that ID box. And we'll just say fade out. Uh, inside of here, it takes parameters. If you don't know what the parameters are, you can go to just type in fade out jQuery. It'll probably take you right to the documentation inside the documentation 
there's a couple different parameters. You can give it a speed of slow or fast, and then once that animation is complete, you can give it another function. But screw all that. We'll just uh, you could say slow in here, or you can say a fast animation. But I prefer to give it in milliseconds. So in here, in milliseconds, a thousand is one second. So over one second, it'll fade out when I click this button, or at least it should. All right, cool. Um, well now it's gone. I kind of want to come back, so I could actually say fade out, and fade in. So now it comes back. Uh, these uh, animations just keep on a. Uh, they go in order, so instead of fade out, there's also a slide, slide up, and you can also give that a speed. We'll just give this a half a second, and we'll do slide down. Fades in, slides up, slides down. Uh, cool. So there's lots of different ways of doing the same thing in jQuery, like I said earlier. So let's show you what this is doing. There's a, you can also just say target or box, and I can say animate. What do we want to animate inside these curly braces inside of here? We can um, we can say the height. And we'll just say toggle. And it's just going to toggle the height back and forth. You can also give it a speed after this. So comment this out. So so it's just toggling back and forth of the height. And that's the same thing as the slide up and slide down. So instead of doing slide up and slide down, you can also do there's also a slide toggle, which does exactly what this line does, only shorter. And what these two lines do. So you can do all that in one line of code. jQuery is that powerful, one line. Um, what else? Comment that out. Instead of the height, we could do the width. Um, this would be the same thing as opacity. So instead of the height, we can do that opacity, which would be the same thing as fading in or out. It just adjusts the opacity. And on older browser browsers, opacity opacity isn't an option in Internet Explorer 8 or lower, or many of the old browsers. But jQuery um, modernizes that. It uh, actually it makes it work for all the old browsers. So when you say opacity in jQuery, it makes it work for old browsers, so it actually has that CSS option. So when I do this in a really old browser like Internet Explorer 7 or 8, it still works. Cool. So then you can have fun with it. Do all these really fast. Pretty ugly. So, to change this hide girl to show, we could uh, test for that. So, by default, I'm going to give this a class of show pick because the picture is already shown. So down here we're just going to do an if statement. So if that's how that works. 
if um, this dot has class of show pick, which it does have a class of show pick by default, we will say uh, this dot HTML. Uh, this refers to whatever is to the left of the bind. So this is our content A, and that's what this is. So we're editing this HTML. That's what this means, is reference to when you say inside of this click function. This is inside of it. So now we're targeting the HTML. We're targeting at hide URL. So we can change that and we can say, instead of hide, we'll say show girl because it's going to be disappeared. And we will remove the class. Remove class, nope, not child. Show girl. Show pick. Don't forget your semicolons after the end of each line. So, else, if it does not have the class of show pick, then we're going to change the HTML of hide girl. Instead of remove class here, we're just going to say add class. Not show girl, show pick. Semicolon. So now we're testing that. So let's see if that works. We still have a uh, real stupid animation going on, but it is working. Um, and right, let's get rid of all this worthless. Animations. So hide the girl. Boom, show girl. There we go. So you can actually keep clicking this and it will break. And it'll just keep going on however many times you click it. To fix that, you would say after this, say stop. Now you can't do that. It stops the animation, but you can still kind of break it, and we broke it. But you can actually say true and true over here. I forget what that means, but if you look it up, um, just type in uh, stop for jQuery. It'll bring you the documentation. It'll show you what exactly what it means. But what I what I know it does is it does not break it, no matter how many times you click this, and it doesn't build up. All right, and you can also uh, notice how earlier we had all these together. You can actually just do a, so once you fade out, you can dot fade in, and then fade out again, and then you can dot slide up, slide down. You can just get building up these animations instead of doing this. Because making multiple calls to this actually slows down your jQuery. So this line of code would be a lot faster. And let's see what that does. Still works. Uh, we'll just do a fade toggle because it's easy. You guys can see what's uh if you didn't understand this add class thing, you can actually give it a style in here and we'll call it show pick. And it's just a class CSS. And we'll just change the color to like red or something stupid. So when you click this, 
He gives it a class of red. And you can actually trace that in here. So let's uh, we'll console log it. And we'll say this. We'll console log this, which is our anchor. So let's go to Firebug. So when I click this, uh, it has a class of show pig. So if I click it again, it removes that class. So that's how I'm able to tell whether to say hide girl or show girl. I'm just basing off of that class if it's there or not. That's what this if is doing. And that's how you add classes. All right. So this library, easing library that I showed you earlier, had a little smooth bounce to it. We'll look it up. We'll go to uh, jQuery easing library, and you'll get with uh, the sandbox, GS, GD, whatever, and it's a jQuery easing plugin. And you're just gonna go down here to download. So you'd actually want to download this whole file and put it in a fol jQuery folder or your JavaScript folder in here. But uh, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to copy this URL up here. And I'm going to just put it in a script tag. But when you do this, you'd probably want to put it in a folder. But I'm just connecting. I'm just did getting that directly from the website instead of locally in my folder. So now that I have that, I can do a uh, I can do a dot animate. Do the height. I uh, will do toggle. And the next parameter is speed. We'll just say 400 and the next parameter is actually something in here. So this library has a whole bunch of different things you can use. Uh, ease out, ease in, whatever this is. There's a bunch of mathematical equations, whatever. But uh, one of my favorite ones is this ease out bounce. So we'll just copy that one and put it there. Let's see what that does little fast, we'll slow it down so you can see it, we'll say a little over a minute, and it gives you a pretty smooth easing animation. And that's about it for this tutorial, um, if you guys want anything else in jQuery, holler at me, and maybe I'll think of something to do it, but this is a really easy tutorial, thanks for watching.